Welcome all YouTubers to another session of Sleight of Many Hands. And before we get started, hmm, what's a good topic? What was one of your favorite weapons or items that you ever found in a dungeon as a player character? Hmm. Hmm. Off the top of your head, it's can I start? Sure. Uh I was the proud owner of both Wave and Black Razor for about nine months. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And I had them uh, from a, like, we were playing this weird, like, conglomeration between 1st Edition and 3.5. And it, it was just, like, we were terrified of that freaking uh, Trident. <laughs> like it just stayed in the bag of holding because anytime anybody picked it up, it's like, oh fuck, I'm gonna kill you for Poseidon. <laughs> All right, cool. And uh, that actually got uh, Black Razor and Wave both got stolen from that player character after he became an NPC, and uh, <laughs> there was a whole campaign i i believe this this might have something to do with uh our uh, yeah you, you want to go yeah Emmett? no no the less i said about that is <laughs> is better you okay oh uh, yeah that's that's a bit traumatic for him he was part of that campaign Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, for me, I think as a player, because uh, I was playing on my friend Ryan's campaign, and I actually play the main villain of that entire world of his, so that's pretty cool. It's a vampire named Cain who fucked around with the uh, uh, Book of the Damned, and it's his journey to basically world domination. It's rather cool. Like Legacy of Cain. Well, that's where I kind of got the name, but like the the so the way uh Cain's uh character started short version is he was kind of in his own castle, but the government knew of his existence and they kind of made a deal with them to stay in his own town. If he stepped foot out of that, obviously it would be bad. Uh -huh. So he basically came along and came along and he got his hands on some pages of the Book of the Damned. So he would use his minions to go out and search places for him. Eventually he got enough power where he broke free of that contract and was able to go out and seek the pages of the Damned, which eventually leads to world domination by this... The like my friend has this whole thing out about beginning of Cain to end of Cain. It's rather awesome. But anyway, my favorite artifact that I ever got was the Frostbane in Pathfinder First Edition. As Cain, when he was early on, he was he was uh, right at that time. I he was five hundred years old. There was this uh, Inquisitor that was basically he told him not to come to his town. So I got pissed off, and I managed to uh, go into this dungeon where he was, got the Frostbane Whip, and I drove it through his fucking heart, freezing him as he was casting a spell because I rolled a critical. That was a cool artifact moment for me. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, I was playing a 3.5 game. And we found a magic bar of soap. And the reason why that was super fun was because we were fighting essentially like Nurgle cultists. So that was just, we just attached it to an, the end of a stick and just kept on hitting them with it, which of course did damage to them. And that, that, mm. whole, that, that whole game was very, 
it was just full of weird shit. And but that that was my favorite thing I think I've ever found was just this magic bar of soap. <laughs> that's pretty good though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I think we we've had like a cape of weather forecasting too. That was fun. <laughs> All right. Well, if you think of uh, think of it, or go ahead if you remember. Well, I've, yeah, I've got I've got a, I've, I've got a dozen I could give you immediately off the top of my head. But two of the best. Uh, one as a player was a uh, homebrew item a DM made up called the key that the key to any door, and essentially it was basically a think of a wooden handle that you can put in your hand and has like a spike that comes between your fingers, and that spike basically as long as there's a door and you can stick it into the keyhole of the door, it'll turn the lock. And open that door to any place you can visualize. Nice. So like it became that. this you know, multi-dimensional, you know, because I was constantly being chased by high-level wizards and stuff who wanted this artifact. So I was, it, it, it was basically just the whole campaign was a chase. Mm -hmm. That the key made it possible and and livable. If mm -hmm. you know, if you were smart enough and quick on your toes, which I was. So <sighs> brag, brag. Um. And then, as a uh, as a DM, I created a wand because mm. <clears throat> there's a supplement out there on the internet that's a, uh, a random magic table with uh, where you roll four d10, so you get up to ten thousand results. And so, I created a magic wand that you know all you have to do is point it and say the uh, the magic word, and I roll four d10, d10, and we roll with what it what it says on the chart. And so the, the party became both enamored and terrified of this artifact because they got it at like, I think, third or fifth level. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and it wound up being the greatest weapon of the entire campaign because it literally just out of nowhere, out of panic when they were fighting a bad fight and all their resources were gone and they were down to their last few things. Someone inevitably grab it, pull it out, use it once or twice. It would have some kind of benign or bizarre effect upon the party rather than the enemy. And then after that fight, there would just be weeks of role playing around just the silliness of the wand. So oh. it, it was a very interesting item. Nice. All right. If uh, you think of the item or anything along the way, and just shout it out. And uh, so, uh, last session uh, ended off with the tipsy tango with some uh, items that you took out of a barrel full of liquid. Mm. That was that's still I remember that as being pretty damn awesome. Well, there was bickering between bandits and drow going on. Yep. So. I've changed the documents uh, a little bit. Um, so they're in the documents now. There's history documents, and as things go along, they'll be revealed. I just wanted to separate them. Um, so there's that. Uh, and last time, so basically, um, you, I believe it was uh, Long Month, I was looking at the priest there for that quest. You had the Entron. Um, Fall the plague stone quest that you could do, and then the main objective there was to go to this bandit encampment because you have this coin. So there's three options that you could do right now. All right, where's the bandit encampment on the map? It is okay. over here. Okay, and the that's that's where the coin is related. Why? Uh, because the coin was from like this like ancient band of thieves that supposedly disbanded, it shouldn't be around, and I believe they have some connection with the coin. All right, but how do we know? Yeah. Uh, um, couple yeah. of good checks. Yeah, well, good checks. Well, gotcha. Short, good short term. Uh, basically, it was a group of thieves from long ago, which are disbanded, gone now, and the coin was used to be kind of like a symbol to get by, you know, the entrance to get in there. Um, and it would only be attuned to that particular person. Well, you have to find a coin that uh, resembles that and possibly can still be useful for that. 
Hentron's right, Folly yeah. is all the way over here. I'm just going to point that out there, uh, way down here. So that's the Fall of Plague Stone. Hmm. And, and that's the note that got stuck in my pocket. Yeah, that's yes. the note that got stuck in your pocket there. It is in the documents okay. there. Yeah. Uh, what's option three? So, uh, Longman, I believe that you were going to talk to or wait for a priest for the missing person quest. Right. That's that, but that was something where they said, "Contact me here." Right. Contact uh, me at the Tipsy Tengu. So that's where we're waiting for him here. Correct. Uh, the Fall of Plague Stone was the one that you're going to the tavern there to talk to the person that wrote that letter. Okay. The missing person one is basically like waiting here at the tipsy tango for that priest to find the missing person. All right, so we're waiting for a priest for the third option. Yeah. Hmm. I believe right, so. so let's, let's wait and get the third option before we decide what we want to do. While we're waiting, hmm. let's have a conversation. Okay. I, uh, here. I think, I think we should, uh, 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 Skis thinks that we should uh, uh, get a hireling and have them talk with people so they know no, it's us. Why did they not oh, need to know it's us? That's tricky, and I like it. <laughs> I mean, Pete backstab us. Why not others? Good thinking. And that leads me to my, my question. We have uh, acquired, we currently have 376 gold. The king is hunting us down. This note has a 10,000 gold piece reward on our heads. Why we're so important, I've got no fucking idea. But I think he's just got either we are 10,000 gold pieces. Well, either we are 10,000 gold pieces for real important, or we're 10,000 gold pieces willing to lie at that number important. Either way, I'm scared shitless. That's um, an awful lot of gold, which makes it awfully right. tempting. So, yeah. So and, what? And who knows? Who knows how many more of these uh, bounties are out there? So, where where might we go? Well, uh, there's two things. One, we all split up to and go go where we gotta go. Each of us knows our own selves and our own history and our own place in the world. I'm sure we have our own individual resources and, and faith in our own selves as to the ability that we can handle ourselves. So that is one option. Go and take care of yourself. We split the money that we've got. It's a good enough money to get any of us anywhere off the continent, hop on a ship, hide somewhere for a good long time. If you're smart and don't spend too much, keep your head low. Or option B, we stick together. If we do that, well, then we get to rely on each other's strengths cover each other's weaknesses but that does keep a target on our head we are now the remnants of this thieves guild we are together and we have to you know take the consequences of that um there are there are benefits to both what say ye we need to reform the guild i owe the old guild master a favor More than that, I wouldn't abandon any of you to a worse fate. And who knows what would happen if we got caught alone. I could return to the Elven Kingdom, but I prefer to stay here. As you're, as you're talking, you see in walks a priest-looking fellow sits at the table by himself. There is your aged individual, Langman. Mm. <coughs> See? We're waiting. So making this decision is now is a good thing, because, you know, do we go and have a talk with this guy, or not? And we all go separate, our separate ways. Anybody who wants to talk to him could. He wishes to speak with you. Uh, uh, it was an individual thing. thing. It was just me. I'm. I'm staying. Hmm. 
Well, what, what are I we hoping to achieve? I don't think staying in this city is safe. We literally oh. just escaped yesterday from a place near here that was owned by the king who wanted to talk to us. So he was going to be looking for us again somewhere close by. And we're hanging in the local tavern. We're, 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 really, being, we're really not being smart about this. We should oh. get the fuck out of town as soon as possible. Yep. And then think about what we want to do. So do you want me to go talk to this guy and see if he's got something worthwhile? I mm. think it's yeah. the first step available to us. Mm-hmm. That's a right. good idea. We are thieves. We're always in danger. Yeah. I, I, mm. She has a point. Mm. So... Evening, Padre. Can I buy you a drink? Uh, so, uh, you see him uh, holding a picture of a person that's like drawn out. Uh, if you look in your handouts, you will see the very last um, item there of what the picture looks like. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I know Long Mike's the only one that's gone there, but. Uh, oh, he's uh, got a look. There's a steadily looking gentleman if I ever saw one. <laughs> the uh, priest looks up as you say that. And he's like, uh, yes, he's uh, missing. Dear friend. He is. Where, uh, where, where was he last seen? He came to, to town about a week ago with some information that uh, puzzled me. He's trying to get me to uh, try this new drink he's discovered. It's rather odd because he's never been a drinker in the time I've known him. And uh, over the last month, he's been doing rash things of buying this substance from these strange people. I don't know what's going on. Last I know, I mean, he usually has a, a tent and that he goes to out of town. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, so you see him kind of like put the picture down there and just stare at it. Is this a special friend of yours? Someone you're particularly close with? Yeah, we've been uh, friends for a long time. I mean, he uh, he was a former priest of mine. Uh, we were He gave it up a long time ago after, well, I'm just going to say, an event happened leaving someone he loved dead. But uh, we've always been friends after that point, and they kind of rehabilitated him in a sense from that tragic day. You know, they didn't want to come back to the church, but uh, I didn't scoff at that. I understand. But I am worried about uh, what's been going on with him over the last while. Well, forgive me for being indelicate, but do you think that this uh, horrific death could have something to do with it? Could there be a, a a family member of the deceased who's uh, hell bent on revenge? Could there be a murderer out there, uh, a haunting, a spirit, a ghost? I'm not sure. I mean, he's been away a week there, and I uh, just kind of I haven't had the courage to go check his tent area outside of town. You fear the worst. I I fear something's going on. So you'd be willing to pay someone to go and check this out for you rather than do it yourself? Or do you seek an escort? Oh, uh, probably it would be good to have an escort. But yes, I would pay for it. It is on the job board. And where is this tent? Outside the city here? Yes. Hmm. Well... Give me a moment to concert, sort with my fellows, but uh, I, I think we can help you. So I'll just ping it on the map, kind of like uh, 
outside of the area there, along the shoreline, and basically the priest points out on the map, which it hangs, so it's not that far. All right, so I'll come back and tell the the, the folks at the table everything I've learned. Yeah. Oh, and I'll what? say, so so he wants us to check out this tent and this buddy right outside of town. My thinking is we get a cart, we get a horse, pony, whatever, <clears throat> bedding, supplies. We use the money that we've got now to mm -hmm. supply ourselves the best we possibly can for a long journey. And then after we do this, you know, check this out at, outside of town thing, we leave from there and then we go, there's two missions. There's the barbarians this way to the west. We can go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And it gets us as far away from this city as possible so we can be as far away from the king while we figure out what the hell we're going to do. So, you want to so be able said we build the guild well we can't do it in this town because he knows every hideaway including our old hidey stash that we can't go back there we need a new, have new, new base of operations skis have question though what? ask it he say he say friend use new substance what that substance be i don't know we're gonna have to find I out through possibilities and we need to narrow that down by getting a sample. So let's go check out his friend's place, where apparently he'll probably have, you know, some of it, maybe. Alcohol lore. You have that? That's right. Oh, shit, you're the perfect guy for this. <laughs> you're literally the perfect guy I'm for this. <laughs> well, and we uh, have... Yeah. Never mind. We got, we got this covered. We're the perfect <laughs> investigative team. When it comes to booze. <laughs> right. So oh, what I'll do is okay. I will uh, just highlight this here in the quest so that it's active it's now. Word. So I'd like to take some time to buy some equipment. Do we want to equip out of a party fund or divide the money as is and everybody do their own thing? I think small purchases, we should do the party fund. Anything like major uh, should probably be like sort your own, like you pay for. But I think like small stuff, we can do a party fund. Well, That's we my could idea. also portion out a little of the party funds. Yeah. That's now. A good idea. And deal with that. Um, uh, That's the shop for the tipsy tanger there. Well, there's five of us. If we went uh, 60 gold each, that would leave 76 in the party fund. Well, okay, so how much do we get when we sell the uh, the, the weapons no one's going to use? Like, the club can get nobody with the club because the club is worthless, right? The the cloak? The you said? Like, the two clubs, those are, those are, those are bones. We're, we're just going to get rid of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm saying sell the hook sword. Nobody wants that. Does anybody want the hand crossbows? I have a hand crossbow. I don't need another one. I don't need any. Anybody want the mage? Sell that. I don't think there's anything left in the stash that... All right, yeah, so I think, I think it's all DM, is there a way for you to fix it so that when I'm in the stash, I can just sell an item? Yeah, you could just drag it over to the shop. Where's the shop? Oh, so it's on the map there. It's okay. uh, this, this here. Should be active. We should probably tell this guy we're doing the job first. Uh, I thought we did, but we'll go tell him, yeah, we give us some time. We need to just equip ourselves. Right. All right. So let's
Okay. Well, I moved the items, but it didn't mean, give me the gold for them. Um, so just calculate out there and give yourself... Uh, I don't know why I did do that. 16, yeah, does not have to give me the ability to add gold to the stash either. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, it wound up being 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17 gold. I mean, the gauche is only silver, so... If you... Oh, was it? Yeah. A silver main gauche? I didn't see silver there. I just saw a main gauche. No, no, no the main gauche is only worth five pieces. silver. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So, so it's, it's... it's ten silver from that, and then nine gold from the rest. So nine? ten in total. Yeah, are there gold. Are there any other um, shops in town that we could buy things from? Oh, this this is like the best shop there. I added a gold to the stash. Uh, money, so then, then we're going to need to find a town. Where's the closest town we can go so that we can, you know, equip ourselves like good good adventurers should? Rope and backpacks and healers kits and you know all the basic equipment. Where's the closest place to do that? So. There's one close place, but it's uh, you need a boat to get across. <laughs> Any, anything on our proposed journey route to the west? Large towns or cities where we could equip ourselves? So uh, on the um, document there in People and Places subfolder, there's the Sheru Land of the Horns. You'll see in brackets towns, cities, and stuff like that. You can see the map. Yes. Yeah. I'm just doing it now, activating it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So yeah. we're heading straight toward the swamp. There's not a whole lot between here and there. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's like nothing, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. there two, two places, yeah. Well, I guess that is what it is. Well, where is the seat of power for the king? That's a good point. <coughs> Where, where does the king Arneon is a week's travel where? yeah that was the uh that was the town where you it got captured by the ca carriages remember you got surrounded oh, so we got so we're a weeks away from where we got captured yeah. yep <laughs> oh okay all right so do we want to go across the river take a boat after the camp we do the camp go across here to the river to the city equip ourselves and then head down to the barbarians we probably have enough money, probably. Oh, I can't imagine a, a, a boat across to the city is going to cost that much. I'm sure there's a ferry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah we should, that, that sounds fine. that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Great. Right. So to the camp first, and then we'll figure out how to get across after that. Yes. All right. So. Uh, oh, I have a question. Is it a new day? Then yeah, all the other stuff day. happened. Yeah, it's a new day. Then I'm Dang, gonna just right. do some spell preparation. Okay, so get rid of all this stuff I have. Okay. I don't need to worry too much about. I so what I'll do is saving a bit of time, I will put on the 
I'll let you know when these are active. So these are shops in the city there. So let's let me activate them first. Oh, so another question we should address real quick is, does anybody have any of the side personal side quests that have a, a time limit on them where they'll they'll expire in a level or two? That's the fall of Plague, just, Plague just Stone the right now. Yeah. I could do it. Does anybody have any personal ones? Not that we know of. No, no, not that one. Oops. Making sure we actually address everything that has a time limit first. Okay, so you should have access to the three icons there. This is in the city there where you will be. Mm. But I just put it on the map to save time. So everybody has access. I think we were going to go to the missing persons camp first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll leave that on there for when you do shop. The water deep. There's yeah. See, I see one, two, three. I see a common shop, magic shop, weapons yeah. and armor. Okay, I got those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll yeah. do that after the uh, after the encampment. Okay, so you head over to uh, where the tent encampment is, and. Da -da 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 -da. Just a so when you head over there with the priest the tent is sitting still but there's a foul odor as you get closer to it Ooh, and in an odor. Go ahead. So, well, I'm just as as someone who has worked with the dead, is this a familiar kind of odor? Very. Yeah. Mm. Oh dear. Uh but on top of that, uh skeets, you your nose is picking it up really good because of what you are. Mm -hmm. What you are. Uh, also, I'm going to give this to you know, this document that's going to pop up for some of you. Uh, that one there. Oh boy. Uh, so, uh, there's a new document for L and Speaks in the handout. Uh, this triggers that document in your brain like you can use that information however you want mm -hmm. but you've come across this smell before and heard rumors and horror stories about this so again it's up to you on how you role play this information out and that's your information so um you see skis cringe um ooh. <laughs> skis rather disturbing sorry skis what? skis have bad news about friend probably what are we smelling skis well his friend not only be dead but his 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 friend be 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 taking bad juju he be taking that bad stuff what mm. that's, that's putting it mildly the aforementioned liquid yeah. yeah. That, be, that is bad. That be corpse blood. The blood of the undead, yes. Corp that be corpse blood. Ooh. Mm. I've heard of moonshine made with wood alcohol. Is it worse than that? Yeah. It, it kill you and turn you into undead. So probably. I mean, you not go um, blind, you just die. So that 
is this maybe what the king used to get all the undead? Possibly. It would work. It, it, it could do that. Ultimately, yeah. it's something that should not exist. Yeah. So yeah. Probably collect them. I... <laughs> My wife might be dead. <laughs> Ooh, dead wife. Poor auntie. Yeah. Dead. So that's our first priority so, is finding out. So, sorry, Al, the, you know, upon recollection of this, you're like, fudge. <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah because it's not a good thing. Yeah, it, and the two of you know. I'm not going to go to Whisper for this to waste time. So the two of you know the rumors and everything. You never really thought it's real. It's just one of those things. But like it kind of makes sense now if this is being distributed or tested on people and so forth. Like this would make sense on how maybe the king got power quick or maybe he's connected with someone. But you know the king may be powerful, but probably isn't that smart to make this crap. It would have to be manufactured in this sense. Right. Yes. If that makes sense. By yes. something very powerful. Yes. Okay. Probably an undead of untold age. Mm. Mm. So as you're kind of like, you, you stop in your tracks as explanation is being made, the tent uh, starts kind of moving about. Uh, the the priest is kind of hiding behind you at this point, like he's he's afraid. I and uh, the power to help, so I that would be to my bow. Oh please, a holy man afraid of the dead. Uh, so ripping out of the tent is a ghoul. Of course it is. Oh, neato. Uh, so, um, I'm just going to position you a little better. Not, not so close. But, uh, you are quite prepared for this because you kind of stopped and didn't just go forward, right? So, uh, everybody roll initiative, but you'll have one action each to do something before battle commences, okay? Cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw my rapier, and it's just... Hey. Okay. Probably can't roll stealth for this because I'm not, you know, <coughs> not. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, initiative. Yeah. So skates uh, did an action, a free action. Who else? Um. Oh. Nice job. Uh. Good question. It's an action to draw something, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll probably draw my crossbow. Okay. I have nothing to draw, so I'll just. Uh, maybe you should, yeah, you should probably get a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like work. I'm, I'm just going to take a step back. Okay. Someone between okay. me and it. You hide behind, like, the rat. Okay, nice job. I mean, the rat has been kicking ass, so I can't, I can't blame you. Uh, He's the rat. High... He is the rat. They forgot he was him. Uh, yeah. Pingle, you need to roll initiative. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh... All right, cool. Uh, who hasn't taken their action? Longmont? Uh, I have not. I'm okay. gonna just. Uh, well, that was supposed Two, to. Two, three. Three, four, okay. five. Okay. Uh, you're you're employing the jam spoon tactic. I am absolutely employ employing the jam spoon tactic. <laughs> Works well sometimes. It does. So strategy. Okay. Uh, um, more jam spoon. Yeah. 
I will say that probably all of you know about undead and their usual immunities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. Seen you've seen so, enough to know. I do. I do. When I uh, when I do that, I do get one a uh, free recall knowledge, which I will use now. So all right. Uh, Ooh. What uh, what knowledge would this be? Um, is it on the creature itself or just the area? What are you looking at? Uh, the creature. What what is it? Weaknesses okay. that kind. Of would that be um, religion? It's I just standard sure. undead, it seems, that is just uh, already formed. You notice on it that it's hunter um, clothes or corn um, as a kind of movement. You guess from the <laughs> transformation, um, you know, its eyes are like red, bloodshot. Uh, you do notice that coming out of the eyes is this black liquid stuff as if it would, as if something were crying right and just staring mm -hmm. at all of you um beyond that it's standard undead fare weaknesses uh this particular one doesn't say any and uh what's its worst save fort all right, I'll, oh, I'll tell good. everybody that. I'll, I'll convey my knowledge. Hmm. Okay, so we'll begin the encounter. And Lamont, you are going to be first. All right, so I'm gonna... This again. Excellent. So I will. Where's where's uh, where's my little buddy skis? Um, I'm right. I'm I'm right here. Right nearby. Yep. Right there. Right. Oops. Well, uh, I think I'll go over here then. Okay. And then I will use that stratagem to attack. So. See, do this. Uh, by the way, the priest is last, but he, he's not on the initiative tracker because he's not really in this combat. But he's he's not he's around. Sparkle motion. He's yeah. not committed, man. <laughs> Wait, oh, you were missing. Really? Okay, so that's a hit. Oh, and if I if I roll on the known weaknesses, so I do that for free every time I stratagem. So let me do that again because if I crit on it, I can give everybody a plus one. Ooh, okay. neato. So oh. let me see. I'm not trained in religion though, so unfortunately, the odds of me getting a crit is small. Yeah, you're just fishing. Yeah. Sometimes we try. Sometimes we try. If we don't try, you don't know what will happen. Well, yes. I'm going to try on a knowledge to see if there's anything magical about it. Okay, um, so you're detecting pure evil, like okay. running off of this thing like it was just summoned. That sort of feeling. Yeah. There's my damage. Okay. And, that's my, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. Veronica. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica, you got this. Just go tackle it. It's fine. <laughs> no, thank you. Fort geese. I'd rather make it try a fort save. Okay. Did did I take the damage or did you, you sure did. Take did. The damage. Oh, that is just nasty. No, I have to fix that. Don't put that on back on you. I know why I did that. Okay. How dare you? I know, right? Yeah, let me uh, damage the the ghoulie go. here. Like there we go. The that. ghoul, the ghoul took the damage, not you. Hooray! <laughs> Longmont just turned on you. That's it. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me. Okay, Ronka, you have one more action to go. Uh, he takes half damage at least, so I'm just trying to make it roll. Hey, damage is damage. Yeah. 
So two. So he takes oh. half of four, which is two. great. And I, will ah, I hate give my yeah. I'm gonna give my buddy skis a little helping hand. Oh, yep, yep. guidance. There we go. Good. And then I have to run to the bathroom. So okay, okay. So skis, you're up. You're actually Whoa. the tank in this party because of all the takedowns you've had so far this campaign. So. I know it's wild. So <laughs> I'm gonna. I know. Uh, I'm gonna use one action to get up to it. Uh, where do I want to? Uh, one, two. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will get to this side, and then I will stab at the uh, strike, and then I will get at the uh, guidance to it, and I will roll. Okay. Nice. nice. Okay. Get him, skis! Get him! <laughs> Ooh, seven down. All right. Uh, I have to do this manually. Seven. There we go. So as you cut it to this thing, and you kind of get uh, near you, you, it, it stinks like me. hell. So you, you hit me again. I don't know why it did that. It's weird. Oh no. <laughs> Put that back myself. on you. I I took I I took seven damage on him. I don't know why it went to you. you this evil of the evil there. of this creature just wants skis badly. Yeah, I was just doing too well. I told you. I told you. I'm gonna I'm gonna suffer next session. Uh, All right. So that was that's that's two actions. I'll just go for the uh, the, uh, the I'll, I'll I'll just fish. I miss. All right. Okay. I just did the the ghoul, so is more damage. Is. What? All right, Pingle. Why am I? Why yeah. am I? Missiles. Here, I'll I'll fix these there. That's, no, uh, I I did it myself. It's okay. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can just edit my health. One's five. All right. Another five. Awesome. Yeah. Why is it cheating? Hey, they skis. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, skis is dead. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, so that's fifteen. Nine skis. Okay, so uh, it's just the object of everyone's aggression. Today. Yeah, apparently, you go to attack him. You're, it's like an illusion creature. You're attacking yourself. Yeah, uh, but that'll kill it anyway. So, uh, all right. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Skis is so good that he disappeared on the map too. So yep, I'm just you know, you're, so talented. You're just so talented. Okay, Skis, get away from it. All right. So uh, let me do the experience points for that. Hooray! Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, exactly. Not yet. So right. to everybody watching out there, um, don't hit yourself. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll look over at the priest and tell him, "Come over, priest, and say say your final prayers over the corpse of your friend." I do not care how useful it is. We have to destroy the the blood. That's. Uh, I will go uh, to that tonight. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it with prestidigitation. How, how useful is it? Hmm. You oh, the pen. Oh, it you is. want to create mindless undead anywhere you might want an undead? Is that the only use it has? It's. Let me recall my knowledge for a moment, but I don't believe that there's any real practical use for it. I mean, it sounds pretty horrific, but the way you were talking meant that there were other uses that might, you know, prove themselves worth. You know, there might be a risk I... involved, but. I will say it's, you recall your you recall your knowledge and it's a definite no on that one and in fact it's very bad to have it. Yes, it it would frighten our opponents for a time, but when they die, they will almost certainly come back as an undead similar to this one. So unless you wish to create an army of the dead to kill people, no practical use. Not my stuff. <laughs> oh, um, you put it that way. So Pingle is like looking around for sticks and wood and branches. Right. 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna use prestidigitation mm -hmm. to cook the meat until it burns, and then like tidy the blood, like clean it magically. Okay. He'll spend uh, like okay. half an hour doing it, but he'll just do it all by magic. So there's a torn tent where the ghoul is now lying dead. Um, so I'm that's you can check there. Uh, you could check there. There was meat that was cooking that is now burnt. Uh, so uh, anyone check in the tent? I'm yeah, checking sure. the tent to look for any of this stuff to be destroyed. Okay. Would that be a perception check? Uh, it is ripped open, so you don't really have to roll for it. It's like you could see everything. We just peruse okay. through it. It's fine. So I'm just going to uh I'm just gonna type that tent it smells smelly, smelly. the smelly smell that smells uh, I'm almost done I'm just typing it out. Sleepy baby. I uh, spent all day doing yard work. That would do it. <laughs> okay, there you go. And now he has to clean up corpses off the lawn. You have all the dead grass. Uh, I'll be in the three. To uh, Ellie here and uh, ask her if this you think it is. Oh yeah. Mm. Just looking at uh, it, like yeah, it's it there. There's like empty vials, but there's uh, residue in each one. I will hold on to these vials to make sure they're properly disposed of. It would be best not to have ravenous. Undead squirrels wandering the landscape. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 could I use it? Should I use it to make zombie piranhas? Probably. What about the fire that we're really right really now? Would the fire uh, destroy it? I mean, think about it. Wouldn't that just be like the coolest thing to put into a trap? It's like, what? <laughs> what's the pit full of? Uh, it's full of spikes and zombie piranhas. So, you're on a Hello, my friend Gnome. So you burn the meat and uh, you're looking at the burnt meat and it looks like it was covered in something and it reeks. I need you to roll me a fortitude saving throw. I, I, oh shit. Everyone, you want everyone to do that? No, just, yep, sure. uh, just him because he was cooking the meat up. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I was, I, I was trying to burn it so yeah it makes sense um port save oh no it's not that great yeah it's my best save i guess oh, that's good okay Is that your so uh, as the aroma's coming off of the burnt meat there uh you, you get in hell and it's just the most nastiest smell it's even worse than when you approach the tent yeah, let's, and, let's uh, not continue hang, this. Hang on. You go to Whisper for me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All, right. All right. So you're not, not totally out yet. Okay. So you didn't critically fail, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. So... You're almost like um, you breathe it in, and then your eyes kind of go back in your sockets there, and you're having visions of undead blood being used. And you see, like, a alchemist mixing this blood in with some kind of very magical goop. You don't know what it is. 
Uh, you're having visions of a manor. You're having visions of Etran Valfali. You're having visions of Waterdeep. Uh huh. Uh, getting any hints here? <laughs> All I'll tell you is that the side quests that are timed will give you more information into this shit. Uh, but the vision ends with uh, experiments on people held down with these sort of cult people pouring this down their throats. And then they release them from these chair, these holding chairs. And next thing you know, they kind of you turn their heads and face you, and the vision wakes you up. You can go back to uh, general. <laughs> About it being out on the streets is true, then this stuff is in abundance everywhere. And if, as you fear that it's being distributed by the king, uh, that could mean it's everywhere in every corner of the kingdom. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that is a complete and total possibility. So, he uh, after his saving throw, you see his head cocked back, and and you notice that his eyes roll back, and then it's like that for about a minute, and then he comes to and starts coughing, and then he turns towards all of you. Yeah, we think. That we figured as much, so we were all talking in, in character around him as if that's what we were doing. <laughs> Pingle comes out of me, he's like, Yes, that is absolutely what's happening. Mm. I, I, I get the impression that, like, this is all a, a bigger part, a small part of a much bigger problem. Mm. Probably not good. Not not good idea to free base, <laughs> free base <laughs> corpse blood. Yeah, for free basing undead powder. Not so smart. <laughs> not so no. smart. Not so smart. It's not free so, basing. It's not free basing. It costs your home. It should be called home basing. Um, oh, bad. Oh, it'd be a camp basing in this. Oof. basing. Well, two of you know <laughs> the effects of it. You're, you're looking a little pale there, pal. Little yes. piece. Uh, right there. It, Pingle takes out his pipe, his hands shaking. He takes a long drag. And you, you, you he, look looks like, out, he, he blows out a fish. You, you look like somebody walked over your grave. Maybe a little. We should get to Waterdeep. I think something's up there. What? I I I think something's up here. But if we were heading to the swamp, we we're headed to water. Well, we were, we're headed, headed towards water Waterdeep. Anyway, will, but we should probably head to the swamp. I will say I, I, uh, for your visions, Etron's is probably your first step. That's what I'll say. Huh? Just a hint. Before we go to Waterdeep. Uh, Waterdeep, you won't find anything yet. I will say that. Okay. Equipment wise? Can... Yeah, but oh, no, we... to equip, and... we can equip well, and then you go. You could shop there, yes. You go up yeah, yeah. over there. You All could right. do the shopping right now, which is fine. Cool. But as far as, as what you're looking for, not quite yet. Um, right. But our, our next point was to go to the backdoor bandits, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Gotta watch out for those backdoor bandits, guys. Mm. They're backdoory. Uh, just mm. let me know when you're uh, done with the shop. <clears throat> I would shop. like to purchase this staff of fire. How much is it? Uh, uh, sixty. That's that's your that's your cut anyways. So. Yeah, we're each taking sixty. Is that what it is? Okay. Right. I think so. Let's. Awesome. let's... That gives me a st- yeah. So. All right, so how do we distribute coinage out of the stash? Uh, I uh, think you, the you just have... Yeah, you, just... you just drag the item from the shop over to the stash or in your inventory if you're doing it that way, and it will deduct automatically. 
There you go. Yeah, I just gave myself 60. Okay. I did too. Okay, where is this? Uh, so you grabbed uh, the little pieces, dragged them over your character. It said how much you typed out enough for 60, and that's what happened? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm, uh, I think I know where the stash is. Yeah, it's a party, it's you know, party the, of heroes. Yeah. Party of heroes. There's two little folder looking things. You want the one on the right, then you want the third tab over stash. Grab the gold down from where it says treasure and drag it over. Uh, party mm. of heroes and then what? Yep. And there's three uh, overview exploration stash. Click on stash. What? Where's that? You, click on, you have party of heroes at the top, right? Yeah. And then it's just our characters. And then it's okay. that's where. That's and just, that, right underneath Party of Heroes, it says Overview, Exploration, Stash. You want to get to Stash. Uh, I'm not seeing that. Uh, you gotta... It's, uh, on, it's, it's go the folder. It. Okay. Uh, can I... So it's not on here, but can I rustle up a... Uh, a okay. some some thieves tools. Okay. I was wondering also if there's a way for me to get any formulas in this area. There's a uh, there's a, there's a basic crafter's book. Yeah. The. That will give you all of the zero level items. So, yeah. Just uh, uh, what's crazy. in the shop right now. They do repopulate. Okay. Um, uh, for your thieves tools. Uh, I want to check something. Yeah, <laughs> I got a gun. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It's a little, it does. It does a D4 damage. So yeah, uh, um, it, it's 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 mostly it's it's for me. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, it's this cool. this particular area doesn't have any right now. There are. It it's is there, there, Peter. So it's right yeah. there. Uh, it's it's the air repeater. You can say that all you like, but it's it's in the shop. He bought it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you wanted the uh, poison thing. Oh, you probably he have said a... something about staff. Yeah, a staff, and that's that's in the magic shop. Yeah. yeah. Staff of fire. Yeah, it's in the uh, magic shop. So it's this token. You click on that. Yeah. There's also the mentalist staff, but I already have like I have days already. It's not like I'm gonna be right. I mean, I could gra buy some snowshoes. Sure, fuck it. You could. Did you transfer the gold? I don't oh have, yeah, I, don't I have see. Any of those. Um, I I got my sixty gold. Yep. Mm. So everyone uh, did their shopping. Just to say, uh, not yet, wait, no. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the party uh, some cookware. Oh, I picked up a compass. Okay, so do staves? Um. I just bought the mentalist staff. Okay. Uh, do staves automatically add? No, I have to figure out how to set up a staff. Spells. So you didn't want the staff of fire? No, I want the mentalist one. 
It seems like everything for me. Um. Yeah. It's supposed to give me give me spells, but not okay, so I'm just reading what it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, let me try this. Okay. Uh, so it gives you all those, right? Yeah. So can I? Does that mean they become new spells that I have access to? Like, no, you cast it through that stuff, but you can add them to your spell list. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, you can do okay, that. So yeah, that adds... Go ahead. But just remember, those spells are for that staff and charge wise. Uh, anybody recall what the charges are on staff? I think it's like I one don't per, know. I think it's like one per day or something like that. Uh, no, no. I certainly never have used a staff before. So. so you can expend any number of charges from the staff to cast spells from this list. Okay. Mind blink, phantom pain. Uh so I think with wizards you can expend spell slots to just automatically cast those spells. I I can't be sure because I I know they change staves in the remaster. I'm trying to look it up. I'll go on mm. uh, archives of Nephis here. I think that a wand can about... a wand contains a spell that can be cast once per day. Casting a spell from a wand requires holding the wand in one hand and activating the item with a cast a spell activity using the normal number of actions for the spell. Cast okay. a spell. Add, oh, oh, add, add spell casting type. Sure. I, put, I put that in there in the chat so everyone can see it. That's from the archives of Nethys. Okay. For what? This is for the wand he has. Ah, it's ah. it's a so staff, but staff, but I'm just putting those in so everyone can see it. Where is this? Oh, in Foundry. Yeah, in uh, Foundry in the chat. Uh, I think that's about. Oh, we also need to see if we can buy a horse and carriage from any somewhere. Yeah, you, you you can get one there. It's fine. Like um, I don't, I don't. You know, Magic Lake here is a stable out of nowhere, and you can purchase the horses. <laughs> you have to look them up on their cost though, because I always forget. I know they're That's like cheap. Funny. So, uh, just let me know if everyone's done with the shops, so I can get them off the map. Skis, go ahead and do that out of the. Uh... Party party funds. Okay. Um, I think I'm done. Oh, everyone, pass, I'm getting a potency room for now. Everyone's done. Not yet. Oh, <laughs> almost. Still, almost. still, still, still grabbing just a couple things. Okay. I'm saving my money for things I need more than. Hmm. Where would you find 
horses. My guess is the Arca is Nithis. Oh, yeah, we should probably. It's a good point. Let's see, horse. See. Horses. Horse. Item horse. Uh, two gold plus. A riding horse, riding okay. pony, war horse, war pony. From what I see. And we're just going for the riding horse. So that's probably the two gold, I'm guessing. Um, let's see. Uh, I think so. Two gold. We'll just, yeah, take two. Too bad I can't add that. Could also buy an opossum. Oh, an opossum? In case yeah. we run into ticks? Yeah. <laughs> or two beehives. Or two beehives. Wowie zowie. You can buy a dinosaur, I'm pretty sure. All right, I'm done. Yeah, but that's more money than yeah. we, we have allotted to the horse fund. That's true. <laughs> All right, so shutting down the shops for now. Hold up. Eh, eh, eh. I'm buying a crowbar. Oh, I, I have one for the party fund. Oh, what's, uh... oh, I bought one for the party. Oh, did you? I think I'm. I I think. I think it's time we started trotting. If you buy a buy a climbing kit, it comes with rope, pitons, and a crowbar. Well, I, I bought a I bought a crowbar for the party. Um, I, f I forget how much a carriage is. Oh, God. Carriage. Do, do we need it's certain? We need an actual carriage or a cart. <laughs> a, cart uh, a cart's fine. I just couldn't think of Make the word. A wagon. All right, so everybody minus one gold off your character sheets. We're gonna buy five oversized large cloaks of uh, a non oh, well, you know, so the silver shrouds. We are now the adventuring company, the silver shrouds, and we wear uh, silverish cloaks. Okay. That sounds fine. That sounds uh, and, and that's uh, the way to hide in plain sight. They're gonna be looking for people wanting to sneak around and do what thieves do, not an adventuring party who's out to save people. Okay. So, uh, getting finishing this quest off, everybody got their experience a little while. I posted it. Um, so, hopefully, it went on your character sheet there. Yep. Ooh. I think so. Um, so, the priest, the priest hands you gold for um, just escorting him and all that stuff when you get back to the tavern. Or you can let him go on his own way and um and so yeah, we take his money. Yeah. Sorry. There we go. I don't know. We we still take his money. Yeah. Yeah. So uh that quest is completed now, which uh I've taken out, so there's three left in the current quest board along with the Fall Plague Stone. How much did he pay us? Uh, it was 150 gold. Ooh, you could throw that in the party fund. Yep. <laughs> and I also on the map, if you've noticed there, I put in travel time as a reminder. Walking takes longer. Horseback is better. Yep. Yeah, we've got we've got a we've got a wagon for 25 gold, and then the horse is two. So that'd be 20s. Okay. So get two horses, so we go twice as fast. Okay, so that's twenty nine. Get a get a two horse team if we're only two gold. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna add the um the uh gold. Money. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Hundred and fifty. Move stack. Okay. So we've had time to rest in water deep. Oh yeah. Okay. I need to change my lineup here, knowing what I know now. 
All right, so how many days travel from where we are now to the barbarian folk? So it's about six squares. So on horseback, it's basically half back. that. Yeah. Cart back. Yeah. So three days on cart back? Yeah. And then how many further days after that to the other location? From there. About four, and that's half already with your horseback, cart back. All right. So then a total week to go uh, if there's no other for delays. Uh, and which one of them has a time limit? Uh, it's a fall plague stone. But you guys are still, uh, you guys are still fine because it's between levels one and four. Oh, oh, oh okay, plenty of times. All right, yeah, so yeah, so on, on towards our, we're we're heading onwards towards the barbarian camp. Uh, we will travel by if we have a choice, secondary roads rather than main ones. If it takes us a little longer to get there, that's fine. Uh, better, better to take a little bit longer than be on one of the main roads and have King's Guard looking for us. Mm. Okay. So, who wants to move the party token token? Uh, move it by two each time, and then I gotta see if there are encounters. Any, anyone no. can move the, the party token token, so... Okay, so I have to see if there are encounters. You had to put it over the Tomb of Horrors, huh? No, we're of hiding course. that. We're not going. Well, I wasn't going to go through the <laughs> river. <laughs> uh, you're fine. Uh, two yeah, more. Yeah, see, everything's fine. Two more. The tomb go was here. asleep. <laughs> the tomb was asleep. Uh -oh. So I'll move it there. There you go. Any encounters? Horses. Horses and wagon. There you uh, one of you roll me perception. Group roll. Uh, Who has the best perception? Okay. I have an eight. Uh, no, I have a seven. Once again, skis has the better perception. But uh, what about survival? What's your survival, skis? Uh, That'll my, work. My survival. I don't think. I don't think I have it. Oh, okay. I don't think I. I don't think I have survival. Because I think if we're traveling, you can use that. But yeah, no, you got one. You got one better on me. So let's go with skis. Okay, cool. Here is my secret roll. Come on, there. Yeah, yeah. Any second now. There it goes. Any. Oh, there you. Okay, cool. Uh, someone else roll. That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it, but yeah. No, no. I'm gonna give someone else a chance, though. Someone else do it. Who's the next second right. best? Yeah. Longmont, probably. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. I think Longmont and I are about the same. Here we go. Better, much better. So you're traveling along and, you know, you're singing a sing song and, in rat folk language. And uh, Skis all of a sudden cocks his head and looks Long over and goes, night. I see the moon. And he's not even looking in the direction. However, Longmont. Uh, you are looking at skis and you're like, what the hell are you talking about? And then you you see off in the distance, within eye shot, there are a group of three vagabond looking per people. And all of a sudden they collapse around their sort of fire pit. And as you're going along and you pass them, you can hear undead moaning. Oh. Uh, and you can move the token to the location. That's all you come across. Okay. Oh. So as you uh, approach this place, I'm assuming you're not your gonna kind of sneak your way in mm -hmm. incognitus yes Carefully. Uh, so you park your horses and, and cart away and you kind of like tiptoe over to where this sort of old entrance way is it looks like a, a 
long ago abandoned sort of cavern. And there are two guards that are standing there. They look like they're bandits. And um, and kind of like um, fallen vines, you see above the entrance is a picture that matches the coin you have. It's etched out in the stone, but there's moss around it. All right, so... Uh... Let's, uh, I'll, we'll lean back from the bushes where we're looking and have a quick conversation. So, what are we doing here? What are we hoping to accomplish? Other, I than, don't... other than getting out alive and maybe a little bit of loot. Uh, those are always obvious. What, what are we doing here and what are we looking to accomplish with it? So, I have this, a... I... this is a connection with Pete and the letter that you had. And not sure. having a $10,000 uh, bounty on our head. Yeah. It, did it come from these guys? Is that what we're thinking? Yeah. Yeah. It's in relation to them, at least. Hell, yes. All right. So this is an assault. <laughs> yeah, this is a, we, we should we should assume this is an assault on an armed force. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yes. Then we should be planning on that. I'll bet that that um, the coin is the key. Hmm. Are we like our way in and pretend we're not who we are and hope they don't recognize us? Get information, get out? I do not think that will work. Pretend or... we're bad winners looking to, to score on the, the price on these assholes' head? Pete told I... us if something bad went down and that, that we didn't get the, we did, that uh, he didn't do the job that we were supposed to do the job he wanted to do and we pretend that we're Pete's backup plan? Mm, they might recognize us, wouldn't they? Yes. That... No, I will say no. I will say what no. What if they're all dead? No, they won't recognize us, or no bad plan? No, no what they... if they're all dead? They, they won't recognize you. Okay. Uh, so, so they don't have our faces out. So, no. so do, are we bluff, or are we going to attack? Is this a, a an assault, where we're, where we're taking them out one by one, dragging their corpses off into the woods, and then grabbing the next guy as he comes on watch, and Working through our, our way through with patience and attrition, or are we going to try and talk our you know sneak in and bullshit our way through? I like but the sneak in and bullshit our way through approach. In this case, uh, we could try, right. but then we might get surrounded. That, that is that is my thought as well. Or walk away. Uh, what? No, like. <sighs> What what is it that Pete wants us to know, and why did he give us access to this? Yes. What is this related to? Someone is willing to spend ten thousand gold pieces, or lie about spending ten thousand gold pieces convincingly mm. to have you dead. How many other people has this bounty been spread to? How much of a fugitive? Are you? Huh. That's the question. All right. Hold that thought. Group mm. perception roll. Oh. Fuck. Hit, hit it, Ski. Don't, don't fuck this one up. I can't promise anything. Hey. Skeets. While the rest uh -huh. of them are talking, you see uh, two bandits carrying a crate inside the mouth. And you notice with actually with that roll that there is drips of black liquid coming from the bottom of it. Oh god. <laughs> so Askeus once again once again does his, his impression of um Courage the Cowardly Dog and go <laughs> and like <laughs> you know <laughs> <It's broken. laughs> it's right on his head. Yeah. Breathe in. Yeah, so he he, yeah. he he does his best impression of a zombie. Look, look, look. There you go. Uh, okay. A lot of that substance. Huh. Skis, skis, see, they, they, they have lots of corpse blood. Hmm. Skis was afflicted with a condition called Scooby Dooism when he was a kid. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, as. As Skeets kind of goes bananas, all of you can hear this. 
Oh, fuck. Get out! And this is coming from inside. The two guards on the outside ready themselves. They're carrying, uh, hang on, let me look up these fellas. Uh oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, I have to. Uh, they are carrying hatchets and sling. Both of them. Huh. So they're hatcheting it up. Ah ha ha! So the two okay. that were were had the crate are being forced out back outside, and you can see this heavy armored fellow. He's like, "You brought me back a damaged crate. I can't sell it with it being broken." And the two bandits lower the crate. The old broken boss, you could probably sell what isn't. And hang on. I have to look up this guy's stats. There we go. As someone falls off the table. <laughs> it's just for the, the background one. Uh, it is a great sword. Uh, so he arms himself and these two bandits that were carrying this crate, like, what is boss going to do? And he lobs their heads off one by one. And the two guards that are standing there are like, kind of like just holding their hatchets and they kind of have this, I guess, smug look on their face, like, right, that should happen, like that kind of expression. And uh, this figure with the sword kind of flicks it as the blood comes off of it. And then he looks at the two guards that are guarding it, guarding the entrance way, and like, burn it. And then he goes back inside, sheathing his weapon. So the two guards that are guarding it uh, look around. Well, oh, there's no one coming. I guess we'll handle this like normal. And they go rock, paper, scissors three times. And the one loses. And he's dragging this crate kind of away by kind of the, the shoreline away there, leaving the one guard standing there. Um, and as the other one's kind of dragging away and sweating, uh, he kind of like fumbles uh, a uh, box of matches and put it, puts him back. So obviously... He's going to be burning the crate. How uh, how far away is he? Is he out of sight and, and yeah. or hearing the uh, first guy? He's out of uh, sight and earshot as kind of it's a, it's um, what do you call it? A, you don't see him as he goes down to the shoreline like a divot. <laughs> Let's get him. Does the shell use poison? You'd a rat. I'd a, I'd a rat. I'd a rat. Let's that's, that's book you. Should I roll stealth to sneak up on him? I uh, probably should. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, the, the dead corp beheaded corpses are carrying one hatch each and sling. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak as well, but I'm not gonna go as far as skis. I'm gonna go within bow range and stop and back him up. So when he strikes, I'll strike. Yeah. Mm. Uh, just roll your attacks and stuff. We're not going to go into... Okay. Oh, all right. How, how, right. how, how close is this? Maybe Shadow. we should question one of them. Oh, you can... Well, they're yeah, going. Good. They're going for attack formation. So mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to give myself a plus two because he'd be flat-footed against me. Okay. And I will roll. Is that good? Yeah, that's mm. fine. Uh, you hit him. Damage. Yeah. At the sneak attack. Uh... Mm. 
Uh, so since you stealthed on him, I'm gonna say that I will actually be a critical hit, and you you kill him. All right, good job, Ski. You the rat. Okay. I, I the rat. So now you have a non-headless body and two headless bodies there. <laughs> Shit. Uh, and so, then you could, from a distance, you could hear, "Damn it, light, come on!" And so obviously the other guy. So let's set up an ambush. Let's get like on either side of wherever this guy would come through, and then you know, one of us calls out in a nondescript voice of, "Wait, over here. Come on, get over here. wait, hold up, where where is he taking that crate? He was gonna like destroy it. That that's all. Yeah. How do we know he's not throwing it in the river?" We we don't know. He's dead now. He did have a box of matches, though. I and thought that was the other guy. The no, guy, dra- guy dragging the crate is still alive. He's, you know, you figure he's burn, trying to burn the shit. Oh, I uh, thought that's who we were. Uh, he, we the crate. I mean, that- anyway, anyway, it does, doesn't matter. So, skis on the dead one at the front of the mouth of the cat cave. You notice that... Um, in his one hand is a coin that matches the one you have. Mm. Oh, neato burrito. Um, uh, have we ever seen the guy in the armor before? It's a good no. Point. We should, like, you have like not. A... You would guess that would be the head honcho. Does he have any like distinct markings that would label him as like perhaps a toady to the king uh, or, or anything that will tell him what totem of was what what totem he he venerates give me, yeah, a, maybe, give me a, uh, a give me a perception roll uh, my worst <laughs> did someone fall again where is perception? On the side. And... Oh. Mm, no. You as you were watching him, you didn't notice anything. Alright, so you uh, want to capture the second guard while he's distracted? Yeah, we could do that. So he's down by the shore. You all you all kind of sneak over and you look down. We're, and uh, we're gonna drag the body. We're gonna drag the body of the one guy that we killed and hide okay. it. Okay. And then yeah, yeah I guess. we're we're right on a lake. What if they're dumping this shit in the lake? We need to find that guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't look like, like he's gonna burn it. Doesn't look like bad. he's dumping it. Uh, and as you look down, uh, it is on fire. And the guy's holding his nose and kind of backing away, and you could sort of get the smell. You're a bit of a distance away, but like that same smell uh, that you had you at the tent. This is good. Let's Let's go right. Does Pingle Let's go want right. a free base no. again? Mm-hmm. Nah, Pingle. Hmm. Pingle wants to. Um, We're not close enough, and that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's let's immobilize this guy. Yeah. Up, and then basically we can keep threatening him with sticking his face in the smoke. That's probably enough to scare the shit out of him and get him to tell us about the interior of the place. Yeah. And how many people are in there? Yep. Yeah. All right. So who who's got a good grapple? Uh that's unarmed, correct? Yep. Skis. <laughs> God damn it. Can you imagine? <laughs> I, yes. Yes, I can. It, it's it's like having a freaking, like... God. It's like being attacked by a New York rat. Yeah. Uh, I do have some darkening poison. I'll be right back. What does the darkening poison do? It's an athletic. Uh, for one round, it does 1d6 poison damage. That it doesn't say if it does 1d6 poison damage, and you basically can only see things you can see with dark vision. So, so, gra- 
So is grappling, uh, you can use your unarmed attack? It's is athletics. It? It's athletics? Oh, I don't have anything for athletics. I actually have a minus one at that. Ooh. But I have, I have seven acrobatics. I'm stronger than skis? Yeah, I'm a rat. I'm a, I'm a, like, I'm like a two, four, I'm like a two to three foot rat. So wow, is Master have... Splinter, and he's strong. <laughs> no, I don't think Splinter's. I, well, maybe he is. I haven't watched Ninja Turtles. I'm sorry. That was that was oh. before me. Yeah, I'm a, I'm untrained in athletics as well, so I've got a plus one. Anybody got more than a plus one to their strength? You might no. be a strong man. All right, yeah. cool. <laughs> we plates. <laughs> wait, like, wait, wait, wait. What's the rules for un? Uh, okay. What's the rules for non-lethal damage? You can. I mean, I think you can use like unarmed attacks. That's non-lethal. Unarmed attacks are always non-lethal. Yeah, unless otherwise specified. Uh, so maybe, um, so I could, Veronica, I'll go and go roll me perception. Uh, okay. I mean, I could. I could. I, I could. Veronica, roll Veronica. me perception. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, I could, I'm trying to. I could, I could walk up behind him and punch him in the back of the head if you want. Make it secret. Yeah. It's a mystery. That's fine. Uh, you notice um, as everyone's deciding that the uh, bandit is on the ground convulsing. Oh, um, oh dear. I'm gonna. Um. Convulsing like he's transforming into something. Uh, you can see that he's spewing out black shit. Like, yeah, I cut his ear to ear. Uh, just take the hatchet to his neck. He has a hatchet on it. I'll, I'll hack his head off. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you're you're in like running distance of him. So yeah, you can automatically do that if you want. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. he can't, uh, he can't really, he can't defend himself in this state. Um, so, so, so what do you guys want to do for, for sneaking up on the guy? Do you want me to just try to punch him in the back of the head or what? Yeah, that's you, baby. Go in there and do, do your best, do your damage, do your sneaky okay. attack thing. Okay. And, well, if, be... and then so... I'll, I'll, up, I'll come up behind you and I'll, I'll punch him as well if we need to. And okay. hopefully he's you could, uh, and then... you could coup de Grom and you don't even need well, to I... roll. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah uh, he's okay, on yeah. the ground with stuff spewing out of his mouth. I thought oh, we were no, gonna not, be headed. Not, nope. No, not, no, we're talking about the living guy. That's not, that was the living guy. No, the, the, the living guy. No, the guy on the ground, we just chopped his head off because he started transforming. No, no, this is guy by the shore. I'm sorry, I didn't. Oh, he, he's he's doing yeah. it. The guy who the oh. two guys beheaded are <laughs> beheaded. There's nothing going on there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Any money um, <laughs> <you're> that up. <laughs> I uh, just wait for this part and then I will see what money they have. Okay, so yeah, so I, I will run over to the convulsing guy and just chop his head off okay. with a hatchet. So you uh, destroy him? So as yeah, you're, yeah. you're doing that, you grab his hatchet from there and you, you go to chop his head off. You see his eyes turn red, blood coming down there as the hatchet goes <laughs> and decapitates him. And you could see that his teeth were starting to form and looking really ugly. Mm, okay. Fun times. Let's see what gold they have on them. So. Uh, not a lot. They all together combined have 16 gold on them, so they're pretty poor. Okay. So what did he have to say? Uh, no, he's, he's dead. Started choking and, and convulsing before we could get it. It's almost like breathing in the uh, fumes made him turn into an undead. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's uh, bad news. I'll add, I'll add the uh, gold to the... To That's the what I said. It was good that you didn't fail that roll earlier. Yeah? Like critically fail, I mean. Oh, I, I have backup idea. Mm -hmm. So, I so will is introduce... this is this encampment in a cave, or is it like open or what? 
Uh, the mouth of the cave is open there. It looks like it goes into kind of a cavern area. So, so what we could do is we could try to smoke them out. If we oh, knew how deep it was and how far the smoke would go in instead of, you know, if he's lower, it's not going to sink. And there it's could true. be another way out. That's mm. also true. And they'll just circle us. How dare you rate valid points? Raise valid points what, against me. One, one, one room at a time. Hey. Yeah. Lure them out if we can. Trick them if we can't. Bum mm. rush them if it's the only option. Yeah. All right. So. I'll be right behind you, please. Uh, <laughs> fucking hate you. We're uh, so going to jump in here. Oh, it's Let's dark. Let's see. So you can hear. You can hear um, conversation. I think stands out oh, uh, from the direction over here. You can also hear barking dogs, echoing. I don't like barking dogs. Ooh, good. Uh, is, why do humans look like troglodytes? I wish I could answer that question. Yeah. Well, well some thinking. some humans are troglodytes. Is, is the language look comfy? Most are. It could be. The we hear them. We hear conversation. Is it in a language anyone knows? Yeah, it's common. They're just talking about okay. you know boring crap that was relevant. I just want to know if it's if it's close enough. We can actually make out words. We should be so, very stealthy. This one comes over here, and you can hear his walking goes. Oi! Who goes there? Wait, why am I in front? Uh, you can move however you want. It's it's just the way. I don't want to be up here. <laughs> it's, it's it's my job to dex tank apparently. So you're get, you're being I'm shouted out. Uh, yeah, so I'll step forward. Okay. Okay. I'll hold up the coin. Uh, he looks at the coin and he really like, like mm, and he kind of nods and then he walks away. Say, Oi, come back here a second. Yeah, no, no, I want to know what's going on out there. Your boy is out there, a couple of them are dead laying in the street. Looks like they got their heads chopped off, another one's got his throat cut. Third one looks like he started turning into some kind of an undead monster. So he arms himself with a hatchet and he's like, get out of the way. And he, and he heads uh, out the entranceway unless anyone's going to stop him. Oh, fuck. No, no, no one's going to stop him until he gets past skis. And that's when I'm going to give skis the hand signal. Okay. Okay. So, so um, skis. We'll put skis you skis here so you can target him and do your fun stuff. Okay, you're still in the hallway, okay. but I just want you to be able to target him. Yeah, you move him to uh, I guess to here. Yeah, yeah. So that way yeah. he's he's past me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Um, and then I will I will I will stab him once he okay. is uh, past me. Uh, give myself again plus two for the flat footed or rough guard or whatever it is that it's called. Oh, oh Jimmy. Just roll the critical damage. Okay. The sneak attack. Oh, yeah. You drop them oh, yeah. like, you drop them like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Again, um, he has a uh, hatchet and sling on him for stuff. He does not have any gold. All right, drag him up the stairs and stash him around the corner. Okay. This is the tank, I tell you. Yeah? I know. Mm -hmm. Eat, eat a rat, baby, I tell you. Eat a rat. All right, so you can see light up ahead, and you could hear um, some bandits moving around. 
All right. I'm going to take a peek down here and be sneaky about it. Yeah. I have dark vision, but I can barely see anything. Here, uh, let me do this. Mm. Everyone's got dark vision, but skis. Oh. Technically, skis. I only have low light vision skis. Yeah. Okay, I also uh, have low TV light vision. Oh, okay, so just Longmont special. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's special. Oh, it's not working here, but I'll do this. Longmont's the most special. Longmont's the most just so special. So why it's not? Ooh. <coughs> I'm gonna move over here and see if it changes any. Uh, could be the map. It's just some of these areas are. Uh... No, that's weird. Okay, so I was just block it in a block area. Yeah. So you Got can it. see them there now. Yeah. Yeah, I can see everything now. Okay, I got it. So yeah, they're just so yeah. I can see from yeah. all the angles I saw there were just two of them. Is it? Uh, you can see all the way up here that there's a cage, like a um, door cage, okay. um, and you can hear barking from it. All right, so I'll hand signal that there's two. And then, okay. uh, and then another hand signal, you know, that there's dogs. All right. Um, you... so who, who is, who is, who, well, do we want to try to like charisma our way into this or what do you guys want to do? Uh, I'd like to see if we can lure one, mm. you know, at a point when they're, when they're not with the, the farther one's not paying attention, lure the closer one to come to us mm -hmm. and take it out before we move into that room, regardless. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. This, does this go around? Is this the same room? Yeah, it's yeah. the same room, yeah. If if only we had someone who had a cantrip that could distract and, and maybe <laughs> call yeah. someone over. Okay, so where where do we want the sound to come from? Uh, Down here, and you're going to want to do it once here. And when he gets here, once here. And that way, skis can be here around the corner for a backstab. All right. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll go to here, and then I'll cast. Uh, yeah, I, I think I can cast it around the corner of like here. All right, and maybe and maybe the other people should be down here in the stair area. Yep. All right. So you're distracting this yep. guy. Yep. Cast, cast, yeah, cast figment there, and at, when he starts moving, like when I hear his footsteps, I'll, I'll cast it here again and make, make it there. sound yeah. make it sound like the guy we just ganked is calling him but from a distance yeah so I, think, can't quite, I think i can do that out, right can't quite make out what the guy's saying yeah okay. hey, help, help, hey. all right so i'll just say you cast it there no and that will give skis the opportunity yeah. as he comes comes so yeah get... you're around the corner but yeah that's yeah yeah just so you could target him yeah, yeah. Uh, get him skis get him okay at the plus two <coughs> oh he missed mm, i'm going Never... to use my hero point yes yes That yeah. hits him, yeah. Damage sneak attack. I will say again because he didn't see it coming, doubled, he dies. Nice. Drag so you, you basically like he comes around the corner and you kind of hit him, killing him, and you grab the body and kind of throw it around the corner so you're able to kind of I mean, that's yeah, at least what I do. Yeah, it, it just <laughs> slaps Pingle in the head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, daisy chain it. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. You, you do the next one. <laughs> yeah. Corpse right. Slap. That's a great name for a metal band. Yeah. Corpse Slap? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, the dude, uh, uh, Pingle, you want to do the same? Um, yeah, yeah, we can. The we same can honor where you come in. We'll try and repeat. We'll try and 
rinse and repeat on the same thing. Yeah, so right. we'll we'll um Pringle's gonna send it from here. Uh and, and have it right. yeah, I, I he can have it ping like here and he can just have it he can stand here. So it should ping him, Pingle. Screw. Ping him, Pingle. So there we go. Strike. Yep. Give him a Pingle special skis. Uh, and He's roll. just standing there. Yeah. Like, hey, what's hit. going on? Okay, critical hit. Nice. <laughs> 17 damage. Nice. So you do the same thing. You, you hit him in the neck with your weapon and dry, uh, throw him around the corner like a pinata. Uh, All right. We're, we're going to check those two corpses specifically for keys. Uh, they do have keys on them. They look like they're cage keys. Uh -huh. uh, so they were, they and, were um, nice. Are they yeah. using like villagers to make their fucking corpse serum? Uh, bastards. Uh, so you can hear dogs barking there. Um, there is someone ahead, as you see there. You can hear dogs barking from there. And again, another cage door. All right. Uh, this one person a, up here? And a bridge that goes across to the next area. All right. Okay. So is, there is a person down there. Yeah. Is there anything going on? Like, um, I'm, like, I'm like feeling secret doors, guys. Well, let's kill this guy and check it out first, but uh, I don't see the guy. Where is he? There. Oh, see. oh, I see him. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So we want to do the lure thing, try and get him around this corner and have skis and wait. Um, I, I don't know if I have enough range for that one. All right. Well, okay. how much range do you do? Measure it up. I will. I will figure it out. The range for. Oh, that's odd. What is the um? Most ranges. Uh, uh, it wasn't prepared for some reason. Well, most most ranges are thirty feet. Are you within thirty feet? Uh, I, yeah, it is within thirty feet. So, yeah. Okay. And let's cast that. Cause he's he's up here, right? Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if I cast it here, yeah, I think I'm yeah I'm within thirty feet. It should ping it down here. Yeah. Um. So um, for, for the yeah. sake of argument, it'll. Be, it's like what the um, hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, shit! Oh rat! Yeah, pretty much. He turns the corner as skis goes to drive his weapon through his hole. Yeah, the skis hole. Oh wow. Dead. Damn ski. God, he's your he's your, your tank. Guy. I'm telling you, he's your tank until that boss fight comes and then you're screwed. <laughs> yeah, that will be turned into Yeah, and then I'll be turned into paste. Yeah. Damn Caesar. We'll just have a oh, gentleman's no. agreement that's, that the so, first person to die makes what, a real tank. That's, that's what enlarges for. <laughs> um, so, Longmont, you're looking yeah, in the cage, and you can see risk. two guard dogs that like are you know come up to the cage and they start kind of trying to claw at you, but uh, you're, you're I, safe I, behind I the bars. It. I, I check the lock to make sure it's locked. If it's not locked, I lock it. Yeah, it's locked. All right, cool. I'll, I'll sneak over here and do the same, make sure this is locked. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I'll say check that out. And, and also okay, check long this. Okay, Longmont. Longmont, I want you to... Uh, here's, here's what you want to do here. So this bandit kind of caught you a bit and is uh, stopped on the bridge. Is like, He's about to pull his hatchet out or speak. What's your reaction? Oh, uh, I'm going to go for a bullshit. 
Okay. And uh, I've got Charming Liar as a feat. And yep. I got a plus seven to my deception, so I whip out the uh, the little coin. <laughs> okay. And I say, what? what? And, and I and I walk, start walking up to him and saying, what the hell is going on here? You got multiple dead men with their heads cut off at the front door and no one guarding this place. What the fuck is going on? What's happened here? Uh, what? There hey, are boy. Yeah, yeah. He shouts backwards, boys, we got an issue here. And two of them kind of like comes over. Uh, they're at the end of the, the bridge here. Huh. Penis. We got uh, someone killing our kind out there. According to this newcomer, uh, this I one appear, appears a little bit smarter, so I'm going to need a deception roll. Okie doke. I can do a deception. Um, I, I need to find no. the thing here. Shitty roll. You, you, you have a hero point. You have a hero point. Oh, that's true. I'll give it a hero point. Yeah, everyone everyone has one hero point at the, at the start of each session. Yeah. I'll give it a hero point. So, one more try. Into the breach, my friends. Okay, so uh, this one kind of commands his other two. Um, and I am going to suggest in a friendly manner to not attack them as they go by. Because they're going yeah, no, to I was, waiting, I was going... waiting to get them to the rest yeah. of the place. So they're going to go to the entranceway, passing all of you to go check things out, leaving you behind. Right. Right. I'm, I'm going to get up to here and be like, uh, we, we should go take them out before they come mm. back. Yeah. <sighs> I don't like a fair fight either, but let's keep up the bluff, get among them. You and I take the leader guy that I was just talking to, and we'll get on either side of them, skis. Mm. Okay. And when things go pop off, hopefully we'll have that guy done in the first few seconds, and we can work on the other two. So, just for the sake of argument, to quicken things up, just roll your attacks. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, and add a plus four to those attacks. Ooh. Because, you know, they're heightened, but you're sneaking up behind them, which is adding to this effect. Damn. Uh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, roll, uh, so for Longmont, weakness being the neck area, it's exposed. They're not really wearing great armor, so it's probably the best spot to hit them. Uh, I'm trying to get the device thing here to work. Hang on a second. Um... Where where'd everybody go? There it is. All right. So my we're role will be. We're still right there. You might have to refresh. No, page. just just like keep your tokens there. It's fine. We're just role oh, playing. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So um, just roll your damage, both of you. Okay. Okay. Longmont uh, rolled, and okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> So you basically come up from behind and uh, you get them kind of down and everything, but like the rest of you kind of just <laughs> gang up on them and, <laughs> and stab them. You know that scene in Shaun of the Dead where they're beating the shit out of that zombie with the pool sticks? Kind of like that. All right, monkey pile. Yeah, monkey pile. So uh, they're taken care of. Okay. Need a yeah, looting, sir. So uh, the gold on them again. Each of them have a hatchet and a sling. All right, man. Rather uniform, uh, strict military kind of group of bandits. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got a hatchet. Everybody's got a sling. Um, hatchet man. Had hatchet. Twenty twenty five gold you find on the corpses. Oh, nice. Cool. These guys were better paid. Yeah, I'll transfer for that. Ooh, ooh, it's the Sling Blade Guild. Uh-oh, that was shitty. I like it, though. 
<laughs> did, you, did you say did you say 25 gold yeah okay so uh over here is a door that's locked um we could uh no, does no. this what is this bridge over uh, it looks like it's going into darkness. You're not sure how far. The abyss. You know... Anything if, out of this room? Hey, do we have a way to blow this bridge up? Why would we, we do that? If, if there's another way we out. We need a way out. Well, no, I mean, like, I'm just yeah, guessing, but that, that looks like it might be a way out. Yeah, you know, rigging it to blow up and tricking the guy with the big sword to walk across it and blowing it up while he when he does. Yeah, that's all. Mm. Uh, I, be, I cannot bear a stone bridge. <laughs> it's pretty sturdy. Not even if we weakened it with like acid or something. I could make yeah. some acid and try if you'd really like. I don't what? know how much it would help. What is the stone? I am a gnome. Is this like a coal thing? Uh, yeah, it's just an empty room here. I I guess this might not be a question that has much validation. So is yeah. there anything odd about this area? Uh, no, uh, but you do hear dogs beyond the door. Oh, oh. more dogs. Yay. Puppies. Is there no anything puppies? in this room? Excuse no, that's an empty. Check out no. the keys. <laughs> what uh, do you the say? Key, the keys you have, yeah, oh. the keys you have off the bandits work. Okay. I well, I don't have a lock picking tool, so I can't pick it even if we, even if it was locked. I I will. I'm going to give you my lock pick keys. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to hand you the keys, so you don't need the lock pick. Okay. But I'm still going to give you the lock piece for when we don't have keys. But you know, that 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 is very kind of you. Uh, I guess yeah, just put it in the stash and then I'll transfer it over. Nope, I just transferred it to you. It should be in your inventory. Oh, is it? Yep. I transferred Wait. something over. What did I transfer over? Because I still have a thieves skill kit. Oop! I don't know what I gave you. I don't know. Just giving you free stuff. <laughs> and you gave you a random free thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apparently, I really like this dungeon synth band. Oh, it's okay. So the thieves' toolkit didn't go over to you. Got it. All right, never mind. So party right. switch instead. Okay. That's what happened. It just moved itself in my inventory. That's oh. so, uh, that? dude. <laughs> all right, it's in stash. Okay, thanks. For all you dude. YouTube viewers, this is basically how you do rogue style. Instead of just running all the way in and getting killed. Just saying. Just... Yeah. All right. So, uh, okay. Perceive, my friend. Perceive. Oh, yeah. You want me to, oh, yeah. You want me to check for traps. Right. Uh, or right. just perceive on the other side if you can hear anything past the dogs. Is there somebody yeah. else in there? Is it just dogs? Are they in the next room over? Or are they in the actual other side of this door? What, yeah. do, we, do we pull the do dogs they... in? Here we are, and then close the door behind him. Perception roll. Perception roll. Okay, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't add trap finder to this. I don't think so. I'll uh, no, just be straight. No, straight. You're fine. You hear just dogs beyond that door. Those, those poor dogs. 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 So dogs. we lure the dogs out here and close the door behind them. So I mean, if, if we kill them, uh, we don't have to make a lot of noise. Or less noise for you know. That's wait, true. Wait, wait. Um. <laughs> what do we get for meat? We got the bodies of the people we just killed. I mean, I mean, I mean we could. Uh, we we had, could just throw them a leg. All right, go give it a try. Yeah. Well, that'd be probably animal handling, probably. Okay. Uh, opening the door. Yeah. <coughs> after we, after I guess the gnome goes and gets a hunk of meat. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, well, you have all those corpses. It counts as meat. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 we don't need to. We don't need to, to graphically explain. Too bad no yeah. one's a cannibal. Right, so uh, I'm gonna go stand by the door, and I'm gonna open it, but stand uh, on the opposite side of the door so that, like, the door protects me from the dogs. Puppies. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, so uh, you, oh, you, they look like puppies. You Very put different. in the uh, meat code, and it appears in your hand. So. Yeah. Okay, meat Pingle, do, do do your thing. Meet him, Pingle. Meet him. Uh, I guess I guess Pingle like throws a hunk of meat into the room. Cling that meat, okay. Pingle. Uh, give me athletics roll for your accuracy. This is like the room. worst. Pos- I'm the worst possible person for this. Um, you gotta throw it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta try. Yeah, I gotta a little try. And hunk of meat. Uh, He's just an old man. <laughs> Well, I will it. say you didn't critically <laughs> fail it, so it does end up there. But uh, oh. all the all the dogs kind of like you know they're starving from the look of it, and they just tear through this meat. So they don't give a shit about you right now. Okay, we'll just boogie okie okie on by. Yeah, yeah the, I, I took them and we don't know how well trained they are to their masters. We need to deal with them. So give them a full belly of meat, and then lure them with another piece of meat out of this room. Wait. Um, we have poison, right? We do. Yeah. We want to poison, poison them. You like. Yeah, I don't give a Actually, shit. Actually, if we if we if we sleep poisoned them. All right, listen, listen, guys. They're dogs. All right. If we get well, another hunk of meat or two, and we put it over here in this room here, mm-hmm. and you see all this these boards here. Yeah, we can oh, just close it. We 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 pile a bunch of boards here. We lure them into this room with meat. We take a bunch of more boards and we pile them up here. They're not going to work hard to get out. They're going to enjoy what meat they have and the first full belly they've had in a long time. I think we go with that. We put a full corpse in there. They will spend the entire night chewing on it. Yeah. All right. Then yeah, let's do that. And we don't have to worry about them back in this room again. Yep. Sounds okay. like a good idea. Right. Two yeah, of us. They're go- they're in their own kennel. Grab two of us. Go and I'll grab a corpse. Drag the corpse. And then and yeah. then. The rest of us will grab boards to and bundle up, board up this one okay. entrance here, and then we'll lure Lord. the dogs in there. All right, Lord. boom! So you do that. Don't have to roll anything. Uh, everybody gets a hero point. Yeah. Hey, I was out. Teamwork. I was out. <laughs> okay, so everybody move into this room for now. All right. Okay, so Veronica, you're the last to close the door, and as you're uh, doing so, you can hear way back in these cages there. Wait, what oh. can you hear? What do dogs make? Over here? <laughs> no, 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 over in the kennels. The kennel area. Where's that? Up here? No, those are the two cages. The two cages down there. You hear multiples of that. I think it's the dogs way back behind us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, let's go take a look and see what the fuck's going on. Let's not leave something behind us. I don't want. I don't like that. Oh God, where they're gonna be? I want to go. I want to go perceive what the fuck's going on in 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 there. I made sure those doors were locked. So they are dog noises. Okay, so you're looking in there. Hang on. What's oh. your Elden? Wait, what species what is Longmont? Uh, no one knows. Like I... he's not even himself, but he's a changeling. But he appears. Yeah, he appears human, okay. but he's your eyes. You okay. see, um, inside there, were dogs like werewolves. They are like Ooh. basically they're. They're oh. strong and mean, and they're they are actually fighting oh. each other, and oh, banging uh, up uh, against the the cage. Oh no! All right, I back up. Not we're not. Yeah. We're not. We're not paid enough to deal with werewolves. Are right. they? Are they actually werewolves, or are they like wargs? Yeah, they're kind of, they're thinking the dogs morphed into a dog-like were creature. 
Okay, yeah, we're not paid enough. They can, they can only, they can, yeah, we're we're not we're not paid enough for nope. that. Yeah, nope. We aren't paid at all. Are we abandoning this then? Are we fleeing? Getting no, the fuck I out? Say, I, I say we go take out the heads, but we don't. We're we're not. I, I say we go head, take out the head guy, but we don't. We don't fuck with the wear dogs. I don't it, think do any look, of us. Does it look like their banging is going to let them get out? No, it's pretty sturdy cage. Right. So then I'm I'm fine yeah. with leaving them the fuck here. But yeah, uh, that that's kind of fucking weird. Uh, what what time is it? Can we tell? Um, what's up here? That's just. As you, you came to the uh, cavern, it was basically evening time. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Is it is night a full moon? I will say this has nothing to do with that. Okay. Okay. This is probably maybe they gave the dog some serum and it's really doing weird shit with them. Well, they could be experiments, and they could have taken some of the fucking undead shit. Yeah. Doors right there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll look. You want me to look for traps on it? Look for traps. Do your perception. Sure. Look okay. for traps. Cool. Uh, trap finder. Get you finally use it. There you go. Yeah, there's a trap. You have to disable it. Okay, that would be thievery. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, nine. Oof. I will say roll roll again without a hero point. I'll give you this. Okay. Better. Sixteen. There we so go. you you kind of like say, "Oh, I screwed up," but then you quickly like you know uh, go, "Oh, that's it," and then you disable the trap, and the door opens, <coughs> and there is a hallway. Oh boy! All our stair. Uh, there are stairs going down. Don't go too These far. Stairs go down. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sneak down when you go. Yeah. Oh, oh getting to oh, shit. this point here, you can hear um, voices speaking in common. Probably thinking what, more bandits. They... Does it sound like the leader guy? Uh, hang on. Right. Got a choke point here, Pingle. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving. You do hear him. Oh boy. You do hear him over here. Uh, no, ignore that. I had a back soon. Uh, <clears throat> you can hear him talking. Now these crates. Gonna make some real money here, boys. Real money. Experiments or not, I only care about the money. And kind of keeps money, 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 money. rhapsodizing and um okay. you can see I like his uh, money too. <laughs> you can see kind of, you can hear basically these bandits walking around. Uh okay, I'm gonna... you also hear a different kind of dog. Oh boy! Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna peek my head out. Uh, but so I'm just gonna put this here. Yeah, that's fine. Peek my head out. Um. Oh, that looks interesting. So what so you that, see that, here? Um. So obviously the leader here, and over this area you see a bunch of crates, the same looking crates that the one that they brought in brought out. And the leader um, turns around and he's talking to his bandits about money, blah, 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 blah. Nothing too interesting standing out. And then uh, you see this kind of dog come from behind the crates and this leader kind of pets it. Yes, boy. My boy even agrees that money is good. <laughs> 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 He's a comic book villain. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then uh, you hear an announcer come out from nowhere. Yes, he's a comic book villain. A real asshole. Just be wary of him. No. But no, you don't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of dog does it look <laughs> no, like? No, no. What would be funny is you hear, 
It's me, Sugar Bumps. You set me up over a woman. A woman makes me insane. No, you don't hear it. Those who watch Batman know where that's from. Yep. I caught it. Yeah. All right. Um, so what so can I... favorite, One of my favorite uh, jokers and, and rules of all time. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what kind of dog is it? What kind of doggy? Uh, I will say uh, this one it is nature or arcana. Oh, oof. Ooh. I mean, I'll give, it, I'll give it. I'll give it. I will. I am not proficient, but I will give it a roll just to see. When Pingle uh, squeezes past me, I grab him by the collar and shake my head. Okay. I'm oh, getting a little fight, overexcited. Yeah. No, you know nothing <laughs> about it. Uh, anyone else want to try? <laughs> it's, a, it's a dog. Uh, I'm gonna come around the corner. Sure. I'll pull. Yeah, go go poke your head around the corner and take a peek, but don't don't get caught. We're not doing anything down here yet. Yeah. Oh, and so dear. so there's four guys, one of which is the boss, and then his dog quotation marks. Uh oh, L. What it is, is a, it? It is a blink dog. Oh, oh lovely. I think those it's are It's a teleporting dog. dog. Wonderful. Yeah, that's, that's totally not going to be fun to deal with. I'll call Scoot so back over to Anthony. Uh, and looking at the boss, now's not mm -hmm. the time to fight him. I will say that much. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> he's he's, he's one of those villains, okay? You see him? Right. Uh, you know? He's set up for later. Okay. Uh, okay. Just uh, me being a nice GM because I like to give my hints because as characters you would Observe the situation, which you're doing awesome by, and I, I really love how you're playing these roles really well. And you, you're kind of getting the grasp of the area, not like my Monday Comic players who just go in and, you know, whatever, don't look. So I'm proud of that. So <laughs> This is a future Silver Cloaks problem. This is not a today problem. Yeah. <laughs> so let's exit back out of the cave. Yeah, we, we, We've gotten enough information, but this is not a winnable fight. Yeah. I don't, too, too, too many, too many fighters and warriors with big weapons. That uh, I'm all you fine could with taking still out. sneak around to see the remainder of the area because yeah, they're not sure. paying attention and, to you. But also, you get, remember you have the coin. Uh, maybe yeah. we can get information. Yeah. Should we I, want to try and bluff? Uh, you can. Yeah, you not? have you you have bonus to lying, right? Yeah, a little bit, but not much. He's, he's um, quite charming. Well, here's the thing: I I could I could fail miserably. Uh -huh. So I'm willing to try, but we we need an escape route ready, and everybody needs to be ready to run. Yeah. And um, by the way, to my Monday group who's listening, to this you guys are chaotic, and I love it, especially with uh, the maximum effort campaign that you finished a while ago. Um, so that wasn't a dig at any of you. I'm just saying. I I'm just saying it's good to scope the situation to all the people listening there. Um, you play your roles well, role play well. Um, because I've had a lot of players that power game, and it's just never fun to power game. That's all I'm going to say about that. So go ahead. Bye. I'm sure we can find an argument where it's good for power gaming, but let's not do that today. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I would like to see what's around this corner. All right. So you can hear um, um, down here. There's some movement going on. Okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. See anything past here. I'll just. Um, I'll let. I'll let him. I'll let Skis do his thing since he's the sneakiest. Yeah, I'll yeah. just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna People peek around this corner. Do any, any kind yeah. of bullshitting. So yeah. hopefully you can see these guys. Can you see them now? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So there's um, those guys. There is a sort of opening down here, and there, where it looks like there, there's an opening that was from long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you see the three dudes. 
what's in mm. this room? Uh, that room is a sand area, and there is a locked door here. Uh, what kind of door? Simple, wooden, nothing okay. fancy. Yeah. Is it the door that the keys that he, that skis has and a ring in his hand would fit? Yep. Okay. You have the key. Try it. Yep. You the open road. it, and there is a chest in there. And I am giving this to skis because he awesome. is. All right. On. Good night, skis. Okay. So okay. just give me a moment. Good roguing. Give me a moment here. Yep. Uh, All star yeah. skis. You got a, a special weapon. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Why special? I just have to. I wish they would uh, put these levels in order. That's oh, thing. that's going to be like my, my skis for mayor slogan. Yeah. Skis, special like skis. Skis special for like I can't wait until now this in, gets turned um, paste. in no uh, skis like skis. My game there, you have to keep in mind that like leveled anything like other than consumables is leveled. So you have you can only use it on that level, not that you know you can find uh, so, so I put one wait thing minute, in there. I, plus one striking uh, striking rune. And put it on my sword, made my sword level four. I can't use my sword anymore. That's going forward. Let's just <laughs> um so it's the other one is So you see the item in there? Uh, where am I looking? Your oh, weapons. There it is. Oh, you got some uh, potions as well. Oh, neato. Ooh. Okay. Let me, let me. Oh, oh, I was like, oh, huh, what's going on? Oh, look, I'm clumsy and shit. <laughs> okay, cool. I will, I, I will waddle my ass back to everyone. Say, ha! Full. Look what I found. <laughs> cheeks, yeah, exactly. cheeks full. Yep, cheeks full. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got up. I don't know if it's a weapon you can use, but uh, I might what you find, skis? We'll go with this after we're out of the cave. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm gonna unload the potions so that way I'm not. Uh... Yeah, so if yeah. he if he needs to get stuff off of him not to be encumbered un, encumbered, give that stuff to our uh, alchemist to identify. Oh, I I know what it is. Uh, I'm just putting it in the stash. So after that, the you hear the leader start walking away. Um, because. And then you hear a echo of a door from this area open up, leaving three bandits by the crates. So for the rest of you, um, well, some sneaky sneaky was going on there. You heard the conversation that the leader said, I'll be back. Watch the crates. All right, so so something's going to happen with the crates. Do we do do we do we want to try and destroy the crates and then get the fuck out? We could, yeah, you know, definitely a plan. Mm -hmm. All right, see so if we can. Uh, yeah, so let's see if we can lure one of the guys. Do the same thing. Lure one of the guys out of the three away from the three. Get him over here. Drag him into the stairs. Kill him. And repeat. If we can get a second one, awesome. Uh, if we, you know, if we have to bum rush the last two, great. Anything we can do to keep them from yelling out, though, is good. So, Skates, you can hear multiple footsteps there. You probably want to peek around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
certain shit out. Uh, which corner should I be looking around? Sorry, I was same corner in my inventory. Okay. Oh. Uh, so you see that the bandits are just basically surrounding this and keeping a very heavy watchful eye uh, on the yeah on the crate. Crates. Uh, <laughs> Skeezy six and dog. Oh, okay, and the dog. All right, now not worth the fight. <clears throat> four on four on four or whatever. I don't like those odds. If we had a couple of fighters, maybe, but now mm. it'd be six. It'd be six on five plus dog. Yeah, no, like that. Um, we're we're out of here. Yeah, M maybe if as we leave, we 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 let dogs go and they eat them. Collapse the stairway. No, no, no! What we 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 do, angry dogs in kennel? We 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 let them go on these guys. Uh, uh, yeah, and and then they've been unleashed on an unsuspecting populace. Good point. Yeah, but if we don't destroy these crates of drugs, they're going to get out and be unleashed on an unsuspecting populace. Oh. Uh, See, this why skis hang out with Longmont. He he think things. Uh, yeah, but uh, they're no heroes. Yeah, as as famous bard once say, this ain't no place for no heroes. Would fire help? Oh yeah, probably. Uh, if well, we can saw the if you saw that the crate can burn. Yeah, I, I have kind of oil on me, but you know, I have fire bombs. I I have three pints of oil. Yeah, how about, yeah, you could chuck the fire bomb and then we just fucking book it. Is anyone who's proficient in martial weapons? Who who's oh. the best thrower in the group? Um, uh, unless someone is proficient in martial weapons, I'm the only one who knows how. Uh, I have. I think I yeah. I think I have proficiency in martial weapons. Uh, or oh, actually, I might not. Uh, you're a rogue, unless you're a ruffian. Yeah. No, I think. I, yeah. No. no, I don't think I am. I imagine you're probably a thief. All right. So yeah, I I'm a thief. All right. So what I can do is I can pro I can do my devise a stratagem, which allows me to do my intelligence. So I can probably get like a plus seven to hit on a throw. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, Maybe. Right. So if I throw my ba a bag of three pints of oil mm -hmm. at the crates, it won't splash all over, but it'll be three bags of oil. I mean, Wait, three, how, three, yeah, three. How, oil. how and, far away are they? And someone follows up with some kind of fire that would ignite it. We could turn and run. So uh, thirty mean, thirty feet to the crates from where you are, like from here. I, I got mage. I got mage hand. <laughs> to do what? I it? can carry bags of bags of oil over there with mage hand, and I can probably ignite them with a torch. All right, that, but we've got five people staring at the crates while you do this, so I, I'm looking for a way to deliver it in one round, and then we are running. Mm. I'm not looking for a, for to get into a fight. So, I mean, if you have a way to turn them invisible and slowly carry one pint at a time over and slowly strategically pour them on the crate, mm. on. But, if, but, if, but if they're going to be seen, then I'd rather just give a quick throw. Does somebody have fire from a distance? I just said several times I have fire bombs. Yeah, no, no, no. You're the follow-up plan. I wanted to get my oil there, and then you throw your fire bomb. Your fire bomb has oil to ignite. Yeah, it should explode nicely. I think. Oh yeah. I want to make sure that there's oil all over, so that it, it it there's extra chance that it burns all of it. Okay, with the beach hand. Can you roll stealth with the mage hand? Never thought I, I okay. I guess that's up to the DM. It's a floating. It's either invisible or ghost like. So it effectively, okay. I could just move the oil along the floor with an invisible hand. Okay. All right. So I will say, for the sake of time, 
oils on the crates. You use a mage hand, you drop the oil on the crates, and and uh, the bandits are going, going, what's that smell? But they're not totally making sense of things right now. Oh, I'm glad this you're, guy did not wear the fire time. F- firebomb. <laughs> yep. So now it's the throw of the firebombs that you must roll for. Okay, that is that's up to our resident elf. I'm gonna hit you with some guidance. All right. All right. Yeah, you gotta get a grenade launcher. Uh, Twenty-two. That's the eventual goal there. Grenade launcher. Ooh, okay. So uh, you toss it. Oh, you toss it, and boom! The thing goes up. The bandits go flying. The dog goes flying extra hard, and the smoke is starting to fill the whole room. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> skis, get, get out of there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Up the stairs. Okay, so we'll just jump to the map, saving you time. Run from run. You run past the werewolves, all that fun crap, right? Uh, so, do, 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 like a Benny Hill skit or something. Do, 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 do. Okay, and um, hey. the explosion, uh, you run out of the mouth of the cave with the head, headless body still there and all that fun stuff, and the cave, cave collapses on itself. Oh, fuck. Mm. Hey, uh, maybe he's right. dead. Maybe so, um, no, I will tell you right now, he's not. Yeah, oh, yeah. Of course he's... Um, yeah, he's all of, of you, <coughs> look here, go to level two. <coughs> so just automatically go to level two with five experience, five experience on top of that. So just put five and then go to level two. Uh, I don't and know that's how to do that. Where how to do that. field that's next to the level in the upper right hand corner, just change it from one to two. Okay. And you'll see your hit points immediately change. So go oh. to where. Ooh. Oh, cool. Go to your feats area, mm-hmm. and you'll see where you've uh, you've got the selections of different feats to choose from. Okie dokie. Awesome. All right. So uh, highlights tonight from everybody. Um, we're gonna start with. Uh, let's start with skis tonight. Uh, definitely would have to be, uh, Longmont's general planning. I really would be lost without him. Gonna thank him for that. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, Veronica. Yeah, I, I think that planning was 100% key to, and also, uh, the charming liar ability to keep us from being stabbed on a bridge. <laughs> uh, Al. That. Al, what about you? Um, but the introduction of the blood poison was interesting. It should lead to some interesting stuff. Oh yeah, Longmont. Uh, no, I'm just flabbergasted and so happy for uh, uh, my friend who's playing skis. Uh, to, 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 to have skis just get all these good, crazy roles and just consistently be in this badass is, is really kind of funny because I know it's not really part of how he envisioned the character, but it's really like an awesome thing to see because, you know, <laughs> yep. it's like, oh, no, I'm just skis. I'm nothing special. And he's just whooping ass. And, you know, he can't deny it. So it, it's really just amusing as hell. All right. Pingle. Uh, I like explosions. Yes. And, and I like that I have a gun that I don't have ammunition for. <laughs> uh, give yourself uh, 20 bullets just for the hell of it. No, no, I don't, I don't need them yet. Yeah, uh, there should have been ammo in that shop anyway. I uh, think I forgot I, to add I, it. I will later. That's fine. I'll have to add that. I think my highlights I mean, were... I mean, Pingle will probably just shoot bottles with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think uh, a couple highlights for me were how you handled the front guards there. Um, and kind of like watching the crate blow up and the, or burn outside and then 
the coup de gras and the guy who was convulsing. Uh, the horror of the ghoul ripping out of the tent and how that was handled. Uh, some horror elements there worked out pretty well. And uh, so, yeah, you're starting to see, you know, some... I, I wanted, like, some element other than your a actual, like, end boss kind of having another element, and that would be the corpse blood in this campaign. So depending on how things go and everything, you'll learn more and more. Oh, it's an interesting side side thing to have like haunting the the haunting you everywhere every step of your entire career <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. um so i really um was loving how to uh to make this uh campaign and uh it's turning out pretty well so far mm -hmm. i'm glad you're enjoying the uh, campaign you worked really hard on it so it's good that it's you're gonna good. enjoy your yeah enjoy your work for once well, i make it uh for my players and uh i like them to enjoy themselves and experience my storytelling you know and it makes me happy that when you know people are role playing and all that stuff that uh really works out for that and tell you some of the campaigns that i made especially the one i just finished i'm looking forward to at some point uh everyone here playing that as well um, so I think uh, one I just finished, um, the deadly sin will be very interesting. Oh, and, uh, it'll be interesting to see how the company of bards handles themselves in that one. <laughs> I mean, not saying that you are stuck playing a bard in character creation, but you're a part of a musical company and let's see what kind of characters you make out of that we were, we were doing that for a little while yes like we had we had, that was chad and the grateful deadlies yes yes i was pig pen <laughs> i was a living embodiment of the chaos wand yeah oh the chaos wand so they're referencing uh, the same one I referenced at the beginning of the year. Uh, uh, that thing. That, that chaos one's moved on and being and is used or referenced in other campaigns now. Is it? That's what you guys are. Oh, that, that. yeah. Yeah, that thing is like. Technically, it was the same world. Henley was there. So, yeah, you're right. Henley's still there. Just he's, like 20 years later. He's a monkey now. <laughs> what I'm uh, really impressed about this group here is my view of died and <laughs> it compared to some of the other sessions and campaigns I've had. Um, it's quite amazing, even going back to 5e, although that group there, they had some sessions in a row where no one went down or there was no threat of a TPK. So it's kind of nice, you know, to experience that, you know, because I always, I played with a GM that killed players on purpose and it's not fun. You automatically are taken out. So, yeah. yeah. But again, um, it's great that everyone's enjoying it so far. Mm -hmm. I'll ask this though, even though it's only been a few sessions though, what's been your favorite part so far? I think I know Skis. He's just a mass murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to have him be like, oh no, I'm not ready to kill things. I'm not ready for that. And then you know what happened. Uh, anyone? Favorite moment so far? Character wise? Uh, there's a. Uh, I, sorry to interrupt. I, I was just going to say mine was. Uh... I'm enjoying that there's layers to the mysteries that there's not, there seems to be more than one going on, whether they're, whether they're related and we find out led down the line or they're just separate things. Uh, I do like the side quest options and the fact that there's little mysteries going along. Yeah. 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 Anyone else? Uh, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying foundry. Like I, I, I really like visual storytelling in gaming mm -hmm. and 
I, 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 I do a lot of models and miniatures for our in-person games. Mm-hmm. But, like, Foundry gets a level of detail in not, like, in the shops that you can create. And it's not just, oh, well, whatever you've found in a tech level. It's, oh, now, you know, I can actually, as a DM... Like you can go through it and you can go, oh well, I want you know this item to be on sale, and then I'll have like a little history about it, or I can, you know, I think that is is a great storytelling for a more um, like if uh, Dark Souls uses a lot of items to tell stories, mm-hmm. uh, and, and I think that it, that the platform has a lot of potential to be able to do that. Uh, oh, I agree. I think that this would be as in it, the future of sitting around a table together is that you use something like Foundry as as your map, and you can bring out your figurines. And as much as we love your miniatures, Joey, and you could put them on the tabletop itself, you you can have your characters down on the screen. I'm and sure. oh yeah, I mean having having a digital two D map is map done for you and stuff. Awesome. Yeah, that's I, it. The future is blending the two of these two me the, this medium yeah. with actually sitting around a table. So when I did my wrote my novels and then transitioned over to this doing stories, I always like pictured in my head when I'm writing it like, what would this artwork look like? Like for instance tonight, the ghoul ripping out of the tent, like that would be a cool art piece. Or uh, seeing what you know the crates may look like. I, yeah, everybody I has could, their interpretation. I so. I could make that. I can, I can scratch build that. Yeah, I just I, like... I'll I'll have it by next week. By next <laughs> Tuesday, I'll have a picture of it. You can you can put it on somewhere. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just like yeah. I but I have a huge imagination there, and just like all these stories. Now, my next campaign I'm working on slowly is the horror themed one, which is a re- updated mm. version of Freak, where you play uh. In- investigators that are part of an investigator's guild and you're in a land that um is for that and each chapter is kind of like horror theme but there's an overall arc to that and when i ran the freak in my 5e campaign like i scared players and it was great (laughs) um like i love that that was that was cool. I, I, for me, I love like tonight. I love adding those horror elements because I, I can improv something when someone does something different, and I have backup written down of like what because players will do go off the beaten path. It's not just a linear, and that's what's cool. And then if you know, most of the time players will work out that way and do cool stuff or cool investigations. And I mean, that's just my GM style, I guess. Um, having events that happen offside and and kind of making things up on the fly and you know I just can do that so mm. um, I had to roll for those guard dogs for their transformation because <laughs> it was time based obviously uh, just so happened mm. luckily you didn't open those cages <laughs> yeah that worked that would not have that no. would not have been fun. Although it was funny when you mentioned that, oh, let's just open the cages and let them kill the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably not a good plan. I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah. It might work. This this will be a fun little... Yeah. <laughs> now he's yeah. just excited. Well, I... I, um, I don't know how to do cloth out of... Uh, or I, I like to use cloth. I like to use um, paper towels to simulate cloth on models, mm. and and I think I can make a tent. Mm. That's cool. I mean, uh, hopefully, because I've got I've got ghoul models and stuff. I think I can just like have him, you know, covered in this black oozy slime and he's you know, thrashing around. I think I can pull that off. Oh, I, I hope that my story campaigns gives you some ideas for some creativity. That'd be awesome. You know? I'd like to call for a better uh, adult than Pingle Bingle Hopper. 
Pangle is a, a, a eternal youth seeker. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. like, I am never I, I I will I will I will never never bleach. Mm. So uh Thomas you Hopefully. he's gonna live for uh, the so um, had a running through this there and you obviously noticed that there has been a lot of changes. Since uh, sort of, yeah. But uh, as far as I know, these are things that you already had planned the last time, and we just never got around to because we either never went there, or we just missed clues you gave us, or whatever. No, uh, yeah, the the ballroom you didn't really go to. You didn't really do that the first time you did. Uh, but you, yep. you went on a different tangent, and it was set up that way. Yep. No, it was good to see. Uh, it was like I, I, uh, the whole escape thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, that's always a good classic. Yeah, and I love that where the carriage pulls on the one side of the town, and I think it was Sneeze that saw it, and you're like, "What's that?" Oh yeah. <laughs> um, the surrounding of the of you guys with all the carriages, and then you kind of fought your way through that centipede thing. I mean, there's some good moments already in this campaign that stood out. I mean, you can go back and watch the videos, of course, but it's been impressive. It's been impressive. All right, well, I'm going to hop off. Uh, we'll do this all again Tuesday. And to all the YouTube viewers, thank you for watching. And uh, it's too bad I couldn't televise my Monday games. That would be fun because of that group. But it is what it is. Uh, I always respect people. You know, if they don't want to be on YouTube, don't want to be on YouTube. I'm not going to post something that you're not comfortable with. But here, I don't do video. I just do voices. You make up your names. You know, it's all good. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Right. Have a good night, everyone. Yep. You See you next week. Thank Bye. you for running. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Bye.